VR, fitness. Does it mean we should play only fitness games? Hello everyone, this is Lena on VR Fit Body channel. I'm so happy to see you. Today I want to show you a VR game that I have discovered recently. Its name is Gladiators and it is not a fitness game. Are you surprised? It is a shooter game and more than that, it is a zombie shooter game. Gladiator submerges you into a post-apocalyptic world where you have to fight in the arena right against zombies. You play the role of a gladiator and your goal is to use guns, crowbars, grenades to kill enemies and you should always be active if you want to survive. Gladiators has been developed by Veronia Games Studio. It appeared on market in May of this year and it is available only for Quest players. You can get it on App Lab for $10. Oh, please don't mix up Gladiators with Gladius, it is a different game. The developers gave me the access to the game so that we can check whether Gladiators can be used as a part of our fitness routine or at least for some warm-up. So today we will check how many calories we can burn in Gladiators, whether the game is worth $10 and whether it is fun. So if your gun is loaded, then let's get started! The principle of this shooter is simple. To survive, you should kill the zombies before they kill you. The game has many elements of a campaign, and during your mission, you will be earning money for buying equipment, food, weapons, and other stuff. To learn how to play, you can start with a training mode. After finishing the training mode, you are ready to start a campaign. And what is also great, the game has a global leaderboard, so you can compete with other players, which makes the game more fun. The game has three levels of difficulty – Classic, Challenge and Hardcore, but I played only Classic as its difficulty was more than enough for me. How about fitness? While this game doesn't make you move a lot, unlike Pistol Whip, where you constantly duck, dodge, jump and move with your arms in Gladiators, you will mostly stay in place. Anyway, you will have some level of a workout when you turn around to defeat enemies, when you use your gun, you always hold your arms strained. The moment I like most in this game is that you can kill the zombies with a crowbar, and this is a good chance to engage your arms more. Can Gladiators serve you as a good game for a VR workout? I think no. Unfortunately, its intensity is not enough to provide you a good VR workout without other games. But is it good for warm-up? Yes, it is good, especially if we mean a warm-up before we start upper body workout. While playing this game, my heart rate reached 126 and I burned 230 calories over an hour of play, according to Move Calorie Tracker. Would I buy this game for $10? I think I wouldn't, and it's not because of the low level of fitness intensity. While the game process is really fun and I like to pull the zombie's head off, I found some crucial downsides that made this game for me out of my wish list. In the first place, I didn't like game mechanics. When you hit zombies, when you throw a grenade, it doesn't feel realistic. It's like the motions are slower and a little bit harder to perform than you do it in real life. It's like you cannot control your arms, it's not a very pleasant feeling. Those moments when you are gonna put the gun into the holster, you should shove it right into the holster, otherwise the gun will fall down. I would like it to be more abstract so that I could focus on defeating enemies rather than training my fine motor skills. Second, I didn't find the artwork attractive enough. Unfortunately, the way how enemies are presented, I found it too simplistic and for me it is not enough for being immersed in the apocalyptic world. Anyhow, it can be an advantage for some players. There are many players, including me, who are afraid of realistic zombie shooters. And for these players, Gladiators will be a good game, because it will help you overcome the fear of zombies, because it is not scary at all and you will not have nightmares even if you play it for many hours. 
design, sound, graphics, mechanics, all that makes me think that the real price of gladiators should be less than $10. To be honest, I think the real price of gladiators should be around $3-$4. dollars. I'm sorry, gladiators, but I think that if you want to get a good zombie shooter, I would better invest in Drop Dead. It costs $15, it means that you should add only $5 to Gladiators and you will get Drop Dead, but just look what is the difference in quality and graphics. If you want to get a review on Drop Dead, please let me know. I'm afraid of zombies and uh, I don't play these games often, but for you I will make such a video. I hope you like this short review, exercise in VR and of course subscribe to VR for the channel to not miss the upcoming videos. See you soon and bye-bye!